the dog days of summer are upon us, and a very popular summer bass fishing technique is walking the dog. Now, uh, if you don't know what walking the dog is, uh, just Google it. It's pretty much a technique where you take a jerk bait and um, along the top of the water, you jerk it so it goes back and forth in a zigzag formation, and that's walking the dog, essentially. Um, what I'm going to show you today is a trick to help uh, maximize your results when you're trying to walk the dog. If you're using a braided line, you know sometimes that it's not always good when your line sinks and pulls the head of that lure down. What this can do is disrupt the movement of the lure and actually prevent strikes. What I'm going to show you today is an easy tip for keeping that line afloat. For example purposes, I'm going to be using a special high tide jig with one of my flutter worms on it. This is a black one. It's an experimental color, um, not available for purchase. Again, you can purchase those at my website. So, um, what we're going to do, basically all you need is your line. I just have cut about a four foot strip of line here, just for demonstration purposes. And uh, I know this is mono. It works with mono as well, or fluorocarbon. Um, all you're really going to need is some candle wax and about six feet of line. And what you're going to do, basically take the candle wax and rub it along the first um, six feet of line. So I'll show you that right now. What we're going to do is just take, I have a rounded candle. It just comes out of, it's a, it's a tea light candle. I think that's what it is. But all you're going to want to do is take off the uh, metal on the bottom there, and then of course the casing around it. And take the side of the candle, and make sure you can do it on a surface where it's not going to tick people off if you get candle wax on it. But all you're going to want to do is just press the wax down and pull the line through. Uh, you can you can experiment by using different sides of the candle. Um, I do recommend kind of switching sides every once in a while so the divot doesn't get too deep in there. Um, there we go. And as you can see, that whole line is just covered in the wax. And what this is going to do, it's going to ensure that your bait um, will not lose any of its action because of your line. Um, for more other helpful tips, check out our channel, Periodical This or That. This has been a Periodical Tip.